So about a year ago, I uploaded this video right here called Sketch to Vector. And what I did was I drew a donut on a sketch pad and turned it into an illustration using the iPad with Adobe Illustrator. This video is by far my most popular video, but there's one comment that I always get on this video that always stands out. Everybody always wants me to do a slower version of this video. So what I've done is I've listened to you guys and I've done a full length tutorial on this donut. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our sketchbook to a blank page and we're gonna just draw a quick little donut. I like to start with the icing first. I think if you get the icing right, then the donut makes a lot of sense. It looks a lot more real. So we're just gonna start with the icing, getting that nice and put together. I wanna make sure it looks really, really drippy too. I don't know, I think it looks, uh, it looks more fun and playful if the icing looks like it's all over the place. Just gonna sketch that out. All right, now I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna add the base. This is the actual donut part right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna add the back part. This is like where the donut hole is. And don't worry if you get this part messed up. Obviously I'm going really quick and it's very uh, sketchy, but it doesn't have to be perfect. We'll fix it when we put it into the iPad. Right now we're just getting a base, so when we bring it over to the iPad, it makes a little bit more sense. I'm gonna add some sprinkles. All right. Maybe some accent lines just for reference when I bring it in. And maybe we'll add a little bit of shadow so I know where I want to add my shadow when I'm vectorizing. And obviously this doesn't look good. It's not supposed to look good. It's just supposed to be a reference for when I'm illustrating. And that looks like a donut to me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture on my iPad and then we're gonna start illustrating. Okay, so now I have the illustration in the iPad. I drop the opacity and we can start getting the outlines going. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come on the left toolbar over here, click my pencil tool. I wanna change the stroke to black. And I'm just gonna start outlining a lot of these shapes. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. And I'm gonna make the stroke a little bit thicker so I can see it. Perfect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep adding more of these outlines. And we're gonna go from there. And once you get up here, you can just draw whatever shape. It doesn't matter because we're gonna throw this in the background. I'll show you for example. I'll make this like a brown color. And we'll take this, make it pink. And see it goes in the background so you don't have to worry about it. Now I'm gonna adjust some of these points to make them look a little bit more natural. Okay. And what I wanna do now is I wanna add this back section. We're gonna throw that in the background. And let's see, we want this to be like a darker pink. So I'm gonna grab this. Cool, so this looks good for now. Obviously, I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna adjust a lot of these colors. Um, but for now, I just wanna get an overall feel of what this is gonna look like. So I'm done with the sketch. I can come up here and I can delete this. Sometimes that lot can be a little tricky. All right, delete that, because we don't need it anymore. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start cleaning a lot of this up. So I'm gonna grab this, stretch it a little bit. I wanna get everything proportions looking a little bit better. So I'm gonna grab my direct selection tool. And I'm just gonna start adjusting things. 
this is all personal preference feel free to make it look the way you want to want it to look but a lot of this i just want to clean up a little bit and then we'll be good to go okay i'm happy with that so i'm going to start playing with some colors now i don't really like this color i want it to be a little bit lighter so that looks better to me I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm actually gonna color grab. And all I wanna do is just make it a little bit darker and I'll add some depth. But I really need a little blob back here. And this will be the color of the donut. Let's see, throw that back behind. And that gives the look of the backside of the donut. But it actually needs to be a little bit darker because it's in the shadow. Perfect. So now what I want to do is I want to start adding some sprinkles. So I'm going to come over here to my shape tool, grab the rectangle, draw it out. I don't want to stroke on these, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to start with just white. And I can come back there and add color in a little bit. I'm going to round all of the edges. Shrink it down. And now I can just start duplicating these, putting them where I want them. And just have fun with this part because random is good. Obviously the sprinkles wouldn't be in any pattern or anything. That's not how they get made. Ugh. And what I'm doing is I'm just clicking the little plus over here and that just duplicates it for me. And I'm rotating them to give it some variety. that's looking good to me. I'm going to add a couple more in the back over here. All right, that's looking good to me. So I'm still not really pleased with this back section right here. So I'm actually just going to delete it and I'm going to make a new one real quick. That's the best part about working with vectors is they're free. You can make as many as you want. There's no limit and you can just, if you make a mistake, you can undo. That's the really nice part about working with digital media. So now what I'm going to do is I want to add some shadows. So I'm going to come over here to my brush tool. I'm going to do basic round, and I want this to be black. I don't want a stroke on it, so I'm going to turn that off. And I'm just going to draw on the outside of this frosting. So what I can do now is I can take it, and I can drop my opacity. Just like that. I'm going to drop the layer down below the icing. And then I want to come through and I want to erase the rest of this that I don't need. Now there's a couple of different ways we could do the shadow. Usually we, we would use something like the shape builder tool, but for something as like quick and organic as this, I don't see why I wouldn't just use the paintbrush. Delete that. Look, and now we got a nice little shadow under here. So for the bottom of the donut, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to bring it over here. Duplicate it one more time. I'm going to line them up. And now I'm going to use the shape builder to create the bottom shadow. I'm going to do minus front, convert to path. I'm going to put it back over here. I'm going to make it black, no stroke. And then I can drop the opacity again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these two shapes. Go to Shape Builder again. Combine all. Convert to path. Great. And now it's still a little bit too dark, so I'm going to drop it down. 
that's looking good right there. So now I want to add a highlight to the top of the icing. Again, we'll go to Shape Builder. We do minus front, convert to path. We don't need this little straggler right here, so I'm going to delete that. Turn this white, no stroke, and then I'll be our highlight right there. I'm going to drop the opacity a little bit. And that's looking good. So what I need to do to make sure you see right here, it's overlapping the black. We don't want that. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to bring it all the way to the top. And then I'm going to turn the pink off. So turn that off. And boom, now we just have a top layer to where it can hide the highlight. So this is a little bit too strong still. Let's drop it a little bit. Perfect. So what I want to do next is I want to add some variety with my sprinkles. So I'm going to make this like a dark pink. Yeah, it's looking good right there. And I'm just going to add a couple of those to mix it up a little bit. And that helps add some variety. Again, if you were sprinkling a donut, it wouldn't all be the same. Cool, so that's looking good right there. Again, I want to add some shadow back here. So I'm going to come back to my blob tool, make this black. Whoops. It's a little bit too big. So I'm going to drop it down a little bit. Lower that opacity. And that's actually not looking the way I want it to do. So I'm going to go back to my pencil tool and I'm just going to draw this outline real quick. And that'll do it for me right there. So drop that opacity. Perfect. And I got to change the order of the stacking. So throw this behind. Good. All right, we're looking pretty good so far. So now what I want to do is I want to add a little section right here. All right, I'm gonna come over here to my adjustments. I want to change my width, make it the same width as this, and I'm going to grab the width profile, turn this on, and that makes it look like there's a little bump in the icing, which is what I want it to look like. The size is a little big, so I'm going to drop that down. Cool. Again, that just makes it look more organic. I think it looks nice. Gonna adjust some of the points. Awesome, that looks nice. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my sprinkles. I want them to look like they're falling off the donut as well. Whoops, take this, put it over here. Duplicate that. And I'm going to add a background so I can add some of those white sprinkles on the outside. Let's throw this all the way in the back. Perfect. Let's make this like a blue. Maybe lighten that up a little bit. It's looking good. Lock that because we don't need that anymore. Let me adjust this, okay. And 
And then let's add some of these white sprinkles over here. Perfect. So now what I wanna do is I wanna add some of these accent lines. I'm gonna grab my pencil. I'm just gonna draw two lines like this. Come over here to my adjustments. And I don't think I can have them both selected at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my pencil tool. I'm gonna come over here. Just draw some accent lines. Grab both of these. Go to my adjustments. Bring that up. I want them to be black. Perfect. Let me adjust these a little bit. All right, and let's do it one more time. We're gonna do it on the inside of the donut. We're just gonna keep going around and adding different accents. This will help bring some uh, extra little um to the piece. Now I'm going to add a little bit of highlight, so I'm going to come back to my pencil tool, make it white. We want no stroke. I'm just going to draw a little blob right here. Perfect. Clean it up a little bit. And I'm going to definitely drop that opacity a good bit. But this just looks like a nice little shine on the donut. I'm going to drop that behind the sprinkles. Perfect. Now for the last touch, I'm going to add a little shadow at the bottom to make it look like the donut's just floating here. Drop that opacity a good bit. All right, so I like where this got, but the more I look at it, the more I realize this back section is a little wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. I'm going to pull this away and I'm just going to stretch this out a little bit, drop it down, stretch it a little bit this way. And there you go guys, that's pretty much the donut right there. If you followed along, I'd love to see what you came up with. Well guys, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up for me. And if you wanna see content like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed. If you wanna see content like this now, you can just go back to my older videos. I have a ton of illustrations, logo designs, rebrands, check it out. If you wanna get a hold of me, I'll have my Discord link below. It's a great place for us to chat and just talk design. Well guys, I appreciate being here and until the next time, peace.